One of the most controversial terminologies in the red pill is quote unquote, hitting the wall. And that typically represents a woman who cannot achieve the same level of success in the dating world that she could get in her prime. In male terms, we talk about this in sports when it's called father time. You know, like when a young Charles Barkley, like in the eighties, isn't the same Charles Barkley he is on the Houston Rockets in the 2000s. Well, injuries, age, he's not the same person. And when you're not the same athlete, you retire. It happens to all the greats. Muhammad Ali was in his prime in his early seventies, but by 1980, he was a shell of himself getting punished by Larry Holmes. But this is the same case with women. If we want to go back to that concept, let's look at Amber Rose for an example. A young Amber Rose in her prime could get the attention of a Kanye West. Then not after that shortly was Khalifa, then 21 Savage, then Alexander Edwards or Edmonds, whatever his name is. And then <laughs> O'Shea Duke Jackson. Who rich? Ah, uh, fast forward, Dima. And this is no different than the singer Khalees. You see, Khalees had a few hits, not really that talented, but whatever. Khalees is very controversial. And the reason why Khalees is controversial is because she really hated a lot on Nas, which was her first husband. She talked really bad about Nas, tried to ruin Nas's career. Nas handled it pretty well. Um, and then after her and Nas divorced, Nas went on to do so many great things, especially in the finance and entrepreneurship world. Khalees, well, let's see who she married next after that. Well, Khalees ended up marrying a guy. Um, The guy's name was, I believe, is it Mike Moore? Yeah, I believe that's what his name was, Mike Moore. And, and like I said, no disrespect to Mr. Moore because Mr. Moore is not really the problem here in this topic. He unfortunately passed away to stomach cancer, but with Mr. Moore, he was nothing like her. He was not on her level, right? That, that wasn't the case. Um, Mr. Moore was a photographer and he was much younger, at least a few years longer, younger than Khalees. Fast forward, Dima. Now, after Mr. Moore passed away, Khalees came onto the scene looking to catch people's attention on Instagram after going into what I will call, um, career obscurity, nobody really checking for her music. And after Mr. Moore passed away in 2022, we saw Khalees hit the block, especially with a lot of IG photos, trying to get attention on Instagram. And again, like, let me just stop the show. Like Khalees still looks good. I mean, let's not get it twisted. She is definitely fine, but she was definitely trying to catch people's attention. And she was trying to catch attention to people who wanted to date her. Unfortunately, can I get an ant ah, sound effect, Dima? Yeah, so that never really came about. And then again, that left her dating. Can I get a dun, 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 sound effect, Dima? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Again, that's what happens when women don't get anybody but me, and I'm broke. So this is exactly what happened with, with Khalees. So after she dumped me, now Khalees is back on the market. And who does she deal with? Now, does she get to get back in the game and get somebody like mm, Nas? Well, no, cause Nas or somebody like Nas, you know, the word is out about Khalees, right? And typically when the word is out about a lady in the entertainment industry, for the most part, no, nobody really wants to put up with that. If you really want to be honest, you just don't see it. Most guys don't get anything out of it. So then they don't. And that's the reality that we're facing here today. Khalees at age 43 didn't have the same level of value that I felt like somebody like Jennifer Lopez did with Ben Affleck because Khalees is just too problematic as a lady. And I feel like a woman like her for a guy who's successful, she's too dangerous. Just like Amber Rose is too dangerous, good looking, but can't do it. And that's the one of the reasons why she ended up with somebody like Mike Moore in the first place. The same reason why maybe Janet Jackson's kissing young photographers or Madonna can't get anybody to put up with her stuff or neither can share because guys who have money that would be in their same age group, they don't find a lot of value or there's too much risk to be involved. And there's no way to mitigate that risk except for avoiding them completely. So instead of going to somebody younger like Mike Moore, 
This time, what did she do? Khalees went much older. Older like Bill Murray older. Now stop the show. Bill Murray is a great comedian and actor, legendary. Like round of applause for this guy's work. He's amazing. Bill Murray is great. But I, I wanna talk about something when it comes to Brittany Renner. Rewind Nima. See, Brittany Renner is someone that's very similar to Khalees. Because at age 30, nobody was taking Brittany Renner that serious. Same thing like Concrete Rose. When we talk about uh, Zion Williamson, she's 30, the guy's 22. Nobody really takes Brittany Renner serious, right? And so when no one took Brittany Renner seriously, then, well, she went real young. Real young like PJ Washington Young. And this is why um, this video was released, believing that she was going to take this guy's money. And let me play a clip on that, and then I'm going to come back. Growing up, my mom always said to be nice to kids after you bully them intellectually, to always wash my hands after digging up dirt on a fake guru, and to always stay away from Instagram thoughts. That last one is important because athletes today are finding out the hard way that these Instagram thoughts are some of the smartest investors on the planet. Brittany Renner scams athletes for easy pay because they don't wear condoms. NBA Twitter wildly speculates that PJ Washington could be paying $2.4 million annually in child support. PJ Washington would what are you doing, man? Looks like you're the next athlete that's going to be featured in a lot of news articles for baby mama drama. Most people I chat with who find out I make videos on why athletes go broke guess that buying cars and clothes and houses are the reason athletes go broke. It's actually not. The biggest and most prevalent reason is what you'll see today. This is Brittany Renner who was attending a University of Kentucky basketball game a year or two ago to study the Calipari dribble drive offense. She may not look like a typical NBA scout and her scouting methods might not be traditional, but she found a way to spot the next big talent. With typical NBA scouts, they're looking for hip movement, agility, ability to drive through the lane and take a pounding, and ability to shoot your shot. That's difficult enough. What Brittany has to scout for is all of the above and she needs to find a young man dumb enough to shoot their shot without any defense in sight. On top of all that, the man needs to be paid too. Meet the University of Kentucky basketball team. What Brittany has to do is scout each player, calculate his player efficiency rating, see him in practice, run them through combine drills, and then guess which one will accept the challenge of becoming a baby daddy to an Instagram vixen. This is Tyler Hero. He was one of her options, checked all of the boxes. He and his Instagram model girlfriend are already expecting a baby, so we need to check him off the list. Emmanuel quickly was an option, but she knows that point guards who end up in New York have careers that last as long as video vixens and Death Row Records music videos. Check him off the list. She landed her eyes on PJ Washington, a sophomore forward from Dallas, Texas. She clearly didn't care that she was nearly seven years older than young PJ. Some would call it predatory, some would call it scouting, and others would call it an investment. Unfortunately for PJ, this investment paid off for Britney. Britney has been catching a lot of flack on social media over the past few weeks for finessing PJ into having her kid, but let's admire the difficulties she faced in attaining this lottery ticket. Shout out to Spencer Cornelia for that because he felt like, hey, this lady is targeting this young guy for this money and she needs to be stopped. Well, this is what I think with Khalees because Khalees is dating somebody like Bill Murray who is in his 70s and he does look every part of being in the 70s. So it looks like, well, I got a young guy who was my type, but he was broke. Let me get an older guy who has a lot of money and who's kind of close to, you know, the end of his journey. And she got tired of paying for everything for the guy, Mike Moore. Now she's looking for a guy who can take care of her and not really respect or expect a lot out of her. You know, like booty clapping sounds. <laughs> right. And that's because nobody else wants to take care of Khalees. So let me go to Bill Murray, who I'm still relatively a young chick for him, 29 years, you know, years younger and he he he's he'll put up with me because well hey he's 72 and that just goes to show you that the wall is still there it doesn't mean about you not being pretty or not looking good because definitely she's beautiful but the but the but the reality of it is this right the, despite being so beautiful if you can't attract the kind of guys that are really in your circle that you feel that are attractive and wealthy yeah there is a there's a fundamental issue with that and it has a lot to do with Khalees' own perspective, her own attitude. And yeah, well, I guess she'll be having fun with Bill Murray. Put the clappers down. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Best Every Drunk. Would you follow the Discovery Bell? I'm out. Yeah, yeah.